Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and um, once again we're going to start a new season um, yeah season number two of, of um, this new save of Hereford um, now just to address some of the um, the end of last season so the end of the uh, previous episode um, I don't know as I was like thinking through like the off season and stuff and doing transfers and stuff I think I can put it down to last year's disappointing result to a combination of things. First of all, we never really got down the um, like the, the the opportunities we were conceding, and also our creation uh, of opportunities, like so our <coughs> scoring scoring conversion or whatever you call it, creating conversion, whatever, um, declined quite a bit. So. So there was that. Also, we we had and still have quite a de an aged squad, uh, as you'll see from the transfers as well. A few forced transfers because of um, players from last season have retired. Uh, and also, finally, uh, the fact that of it, because I there was such a huge turnaround of players, so I basically um, swapped the entire team over for new players um we had a quite poor dynamics but this season we only made uh, yeah about one trans well about half of the squad still quite a lot half of the squad has been transferred um but that meant that we can hold on to an average cohesion from this from the um from the start so that's great so that's addressing last season uh, so hopefully we can kind of mend some of those things this season starting with you know the cohesion obviously we're not going to be abysmal like we were uh, when we first started um, last season uh, right so first of all let's take a look at the new squad so <clears throat> One change, so you'll see the changes here on the left side of the screen. Um, one change here, we just brought in. So we had um, last year we had uh, Bergal, the our main goalkeeper, um, and we just had like a low knee. Just you know, he was quite good actually as well. Uh, we had a low knee just in the background, just um, just in case. Uh, and we are doing the same thing this year. We're having a low knee and in the background this guy actually might be better so we'll we'll see we'll do a few experiments and just see um who's gonna take the top spot this season for the right side of the fence we still kept jared uh, hotchkiss this is still an original player from uh the original hereford squad the only original player left and <clears throat> to re replace last year's um, that player retired so to replace last year's we went for Mark Morrison we actually purchased him um, and he's you know with training which we don't have we don't have full full full, full time training which I think is another thing we need to change get that professional status as soon as possible um, yeah with training he'll obviously get better he's 23 already though so I'm not sure how much better he will actually get on the left side of the fence, we have one new player, Jack Lane, uh, slightly older, more experienced player. And we still have Louis de Souza, and we're going to play him um, on a more regular basis, I think. For the fence, we have three new centre backs. Two of them on the defence um, role, uh, Andrew Doyle, which we've used in last year's edition of the game. Andrew Doyle, I, I think, seemed to remember. Although that face, for some reason, I remember that face on a goalkeeper last year. Obviously, I believe the game. I believe the database. This must be Andrew Doyle. But um, for some reason, I th I associate that face with a goalkeeper. I don't know why. But anyway, that's, yeah, uh, I remember that face from the game from last year. Uh, and <clears throat> we also have Liam Daly very experienced player to help us out in that position. Sorry if my voice is a bit throaty. Um, 
um, in assignment mode at the moment. So, um, as you can see, I haven't changed clothes very much. I'm still wearing the same hoodie that I wear around the house when I'm writing assignments and my glasses as well. Um, so every couple of evenings um, in the week, I try to get ahead and record an episode. Because uh, in the next couple of weeks, um, you know, uh, coming up in real life, uh, I'm going to have a couple of weeks where we won't be able to play at all. So just trying to get a little bit ahead while I have free time in the evenings. Anyway, I was saying, a throaty voice, being in silent mode, not actually spoken to any human beings. So that's why I have the throaty voice. Um, Josh Bale is from last year, but we brought in Adam. Um, where is Adam? Oh, his name's not Adam, it's Cam. I was reading from the wrong line. Cam, he's gonna come in and be the backup center, uh, the backup player for the covering position uh, in the fence. So yeah, 18 year old, um, still plenty to develop. There. We have one new defensive midfielder, Adam Bart Barton. Um, and we have one new um, transfer that's actually not been completed yet, but we have one new... Oh no, where's he gone? Oh, maybe it's been cancelled. Oh no, okay. Oof, phew. Uh, Adam, uh, Ad Alex King, 17 year old Alex King from Morton is going to join us later on in the saving about a month's time as a centre midfielder. So, quite excited for that. Uh, then, as we carry on going forward in a pitch, we have Kieran Dahl has actually joined us. If you remember Kieran Dahl from last season. Um, so, he he just rejoined. See, he was with us last season on loan, and he rejoined us now on a full-time contract. Which is great. <coughs> um, then we have Sam, who's going to be... Uh, our second player for the uh, left side of attack. There are no changes to the centre um, attacking midfielder position and there is one new striker. Very, very old. You're probably going to laugh when I show you a player I brought in. Jason Byrne. He's 44 years old. I'm surprised he still plays. Where did he play before? He was in Bluebell in Ireland. I played in Cardiff before. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Jason Byrne is coming in just to give us a nudge every now and then. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and he's going to be great for things like mentoring and, you know, getting maybe being a coach later later on and stuff. So he's already planned his retirement. Let's see what his staff is. He's actually not that great a staff member. Never mind. <laughs> he's not going to be a coach. But he's going to help us out because he was cheap. And I've tried very hard to stay underneath that budget because I'm going to use that in January when we do the review of the squad. So I kind of make like a basic team for the first half of the season. And then I tried to save a little bit of the transfer budget for the, for January so that we can get like much better players to help us finish the season. Because usually by then, like there are some better players that are interested if we're, if we're doing well, that is. So try to keep that going. Uh, just trying to think what are the changes. Oh, staff changes, obviously. I have a pretty updated staff again. And update the training and set up all the individual training for all the players, including the senior and the youth. All of that's been done. Yada 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 yada. Let's go to a match. First match of the season. I can't remember if I prepped this or not. It looks like I have, because I that button's grayed out, so we must have done. So let's look at the tactic. I wanted to look at this actually. So we are playing narrow. Uh, bearing in mind we have a small pitch as well, so I'm not sure if the difference between narrow and wide would actually make much of a difference in our pitch because we're playing on a small dimension. Uh, we're hitting crosses early, that's fine I think. 
all of that looks fine now i might so this is the change that i thought i might introduce this season sorry while i remove fingerprints from my glasses um yeah so i th thought i might experiment with regrouping and holding shape um so i might do that not this match the next match and stay on feet i, I explained i experimented on and off with that staying on feet last season and it it didn't really seem to make that much of a difference i mean it was the difference sometimes between a draw and a win yeah sure uh, sorry a draw and a loss which is obviously uh relevant but for the time of points that we mean that we need we actually need wins or something so i'm not sure staying on uh sorry not staying on feet gets the kin gets the kin so we definitely don't want to be staying on feet um that's not the type of the thing that I use. Uh, get stuck in. Um, so I was hoping my players would get a little bit more stuck in last season, but it, you know that using that um, instruction didn't really seem to make much of a difference. Not a significant difference, anyway. Now we get, we're going to play our first match as this, just to kind of assess where we are. We obviously already made a big different, a big change by introducing new players, so that's going to be something to to adapt to. Um, I think I have. It looks, yeah. This is not my friendly setup, so I must have set up the players already. And usually, to set up the players, I, I do something really simple. I just go back to the squad. You know, obviously, I, I played most of these players in friendlies. So I set them up, you know, you know, who's done the best, and then I assign roles, you know, as, as such. Um, except maybe if a player is tired. So here, Ross, because Ross is tired, he's going to go on the bench instead. Uh, Carly, um, Carly's going to go in. Otherwise, you know, Ross would be then uh, in. <coughs> Okie dokie. So let's go for it. We're going to need new numbers. I've done set pieces, you know, um, responsibilities of set pieces and stuff like that. So all is being taken care of. And we are playing away from home. Is this a penalty? Oh, wow. It is. Okay, let's see. What happens here? This is quite scary, actually. My glasses are still really dirty. I'm not going to be able to see the penalty. It's a goal anyway. I see the flashing on the screen. Oh no! I'm actually really blind without my glasses. Um, right. Okay. So that's not a very good start. That's better. Ow. I want it to be over, you know, over, over zealous with my eyes. I could put my blue light glasses on top of this one. Now that's a look. Look at that. It doesn't actually look that bad. They sort of match, actually. I hadn't noticed that before. They match. Oh, we got a penalty. Sorry, I got distracted by doing nonsense. And they fixed the bug. Okay, so if you've been watching last year's uh, series that I did on Hereford, every single time a player went to score a, pe a penalty, they just they just stayed rooted on the penalty spot. And if they missed it, but they had a chance to score it by running towards it, they just wouldn't move. So there were a bunch of... You no, know, every single time that happened, the player just wouldn't move. It was some sort of bug. I, I think I reported it. I think I did. I'm not sure if I have, actually. But anyway, I said in one of the episodes, I bet that this is a bug, and I, I wish it gets fixed in the next version of the game. And I think I even said, I'm not going to report it now, because... Oh, yeah, so I didn't I, I didn't report it. Because I said, uh, I'm not going to report it now, because, you know, let's see what the new game um, does. And they fixed it. I'm glad they did. Because that was such an annoying bug. And we just conceded again. Oh. I 
case but the thing is like i need to look at these replays more carefully then because i need to work out why are we conceding are we conceding because our goalkeeper's crap or ooh, he got run our goalkeeper wasn't crap in that occasion um or are we conceding because we're getting run or are we conceding because we're not marking properly um you know what is the reason because at the moment because i've been just you know speeding through the first season as i usually do um i didn't actually watch properly okay we're gonna try out morrison the first time playing competitively and just for a bit we're gonna bring out ross just because kyle is not playing too well even though ross is tired but Playing half a match shouldn't be too bad. I'm quite happy that they fixed that bug because it was quite annoying. I only noticed it later on, later on in the year. But once I noticed it, I couldn't unnotice it. Um, and then it just bugged me. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Okay, final subs. Da -da -da. So we got two options, and I'm gonna go with the yellow card option. Nikki coming in. Hopefully, we'll have time for one more match after this. <laughs> Try to get some points in this episode if possible. And usually for the second match, I sort of rotate anyway. So um, I'm going to give the guys who didn't play today a chance to play in the next match. And then from then on, I usually play the players that have been doing the best overall. Um, and I always account for like players who are tired. I always rest them, obviously, um, and so on. Okay, so let's go. So it wasn't a very good result at all. But um, I don't even know, like. Uh, let me just have a look at who we play at East. They're not even that good, are they? sense. Wait, did I press the wrong? Oh, there, Southport. There we go. I thought I was going to go, I was going mad. Southport. We played up against Southport, not East, whatever it was. 13th, they finished 18th last season. So they finished below us last season. we're doing meh got some analysis and stuff which is great um no because I chose those okay no 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 don't care So these meetings are useful, but sometimes can be a, a bit annoying because they just keep telling you the same stuff. I think, you know, um, they're useful, I suppose, but it's just more of a skippy sort of task. Right, they're saying, let's use tighter marking. Mm. Mm. Work the one to box. Yeah, that usually works. Um, that one, I'm like, eh. 
because our players aren't very fast, but we'll give it a try. Okay, we're going to put the new goalkeeper in. We're also going to put in... So anyone who didn't play last... Actually, I need to do this a bit more thoroughly. So, yeah, him, um, Mor Morrison played better for sure. Let's give Dali a go. Uh, I forget which one it is. Cam, isn't it? Yeah, Cam. Uh, that is done. Okay. Nikki played better. There isn't anyone for this guy yet, so I'm think about that in a minute. Um, give Dal a go. He's still tired, so I'm going to keep Kyle on. Uh, definitely bring in Doyle. See if he can be our best goal scorer again this season. And we're going to bring in the old guy, Jason Byrne. He's going to play a match. Show us what you've got. Now, for this guy, he's tired, so I do want to rest him. Um, let's see like the best available person. Adam. I, I bring in like the youth just, just in case there isn't anyone suitable in the senior squad, but yeah. So you could play Adam, who's normally a defensive midfielder. Uh, and then that's it. Okay. So we've got a right fullback, left fullback. Takes up a lot of the bench, but oh well, got no other solution. We're also going to need centre back because defensive positions are important. Um, we're definitely keeping Cormac on the bench. I'm going to bring in Vaughn. And the only person, the only position we don't have a sub for is Kieran Dahl. That's actually not very good. Okay, we're actually going to put him on a bench. Because if if a left back gets needs to be subbed, I can at least put Kieran Dahl in left. Sorry, not left back. Left winger. You get the idea. Anyway. Right, you'll see what I mean if it happens. Um, I'm not tempted to tweak the ta tactic just yet. Let's give these guys a go. And then we'll think about that. They're not very happy with it yet. That's because these guys are new. We're playing at home. We might lose again. Hopefully not. Interested to see what this new goalkeeper does. And the new striker as well. This new old striker. 44 year old. He's just a poacher though, so like for a, poach a poaching position, you don't really need to be fast. So, Ooh, young player getting a yellow card already. That's not very good. We haven't had a highlighted attack. Oh, there we go. I was just speaking too soon. Ooh. Penalty! Come on, Jason Byrne, our oldie. Coming up to the penalty spot. Oh, do you see that? Right smack down the middle, but above the keeper. Towards the um, crossbar. Quite a nice way to score. Look at that. The, key the keeper noticed it as well, but couldn't get there. Okay. Nice. He might beat a record for oldest goal scorer for our team. Quite possibly even the league, who knows. Oh, another yellow card. We're definitely not going to get stuck in um, on our tactics if we're getting yellow cards like this already, not even getting stuck in. Right, they're drawn. I might have to sub out Bailey, so I might have to put Let's have a look at this um, injury that Bailey mm, wants to stay on, but it's affecting him. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's get him out. I'm going to have to put Vaughn in.
Come on, Doyle. Doyle's on the pitch. Anything could happen here. It goes Doyle. And he misses it by just a little bit. This is usually the combination that got us like 16 goals um, last season from Doyle. Anyway, so let's carry on. Nothing to change at the moment. Need to keep an eye on time. I think we'll leave it after this match. We'll leave the episode here. Doyle gets fouled. Red card? Yeah. Sorry, Declan Thompson, for celebrating your red card, but this is going to help us, hopefully. Okay, right. Let's take the kid out, George Bailey. And. Put Kaja in the middle. It's not ideal, but at least it's a fresh pair of legs. this on um, extended highlights no key highlights good burn not bad a little bit out but I think it's gonna be a good backup striker burn he will be a backup because um oh Doyle missed again um Dulan is much better, but uh, he'll be quite good as a backup. Come on, Vaughn, you can do it. Oh. So we're creating chances, we're just not quite being accurate enough. That guy could have stretched it out a little bit. Oh no. Good, closing up. Too many guys on one man. Yeah, they all moved towards Bennett and they left Oswell unmarked. Mmm. Yeah, the centre backs have been a bit iffy. Like what? They all ran towards the same person. Just as a matter of, whoops. Just as a matter of, um, can I? We'll do this after the match, but if I have time. The camera died, but I'll just keep going. Um. Right, so let's take a look at Dali and Josh Bailey. Why did they do that? Eleven and twelve. So they're not terrible at marking and positioning. And Josh, eleven and eleven. That was a strange behaviour from the. They just yeah. That was a strange behavior. Okay. I might report that. I'm not sure. Yeah. That is very strange behavior. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And um, if you've enjoyed it, leave it a like. Always appreciate it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.